Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Precious God, hallelujah. Great is the faithfulness of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You who are awesome in this place, you who are holy, you who are righteous, you who are true, there is none like you. Great is the faithfulness of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, that you ever thought of us. Thank you, Lord, for saving our souls. Thank you, Lord, for making us whole. Thank you, Lord, for giving to us your great salvation so full and so free. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hallelujah to our King. Lord, you are great and you are almighty. All honor, all praise, all glory to you, O King. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Bless the Lord. Oh my soul, oh my soul, and I worship his holy name, sing like never before. Oh my soul, I worship your holy name. Bless the Lord with all my soul, and oh my soul, I worship his holy name. Sing like never before, oh my soul, I worship your holy name. Hallelujah, hallelujah, Lord, we worship your holy name. Yes, we worship your holy name. Bless the Lord with all my soul. Oh, my soul, I worship your holy name. Sing like never before. Oh, my soul, I worship your holy name. Lord, I worship your holy name. Yes, I worship your holy name. Hallelujah. 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 Bless the Lord. We praise you, O gracious, wonderful, and sovereign God. You who are awesome in this place. You who are worthy of all praise. To you our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place, almighty God. You're worthy, Lord. You're worthy. You're worthy. You're worthy. Good morning, Holy Spirit of God, and welcome. Welcome into our presence. Welcome into our day. Welcome to everything in every way. Welcome, Holy Spirit. We are in your presence. Fill us with your power and live inside of us. You're the living water, the ever-flowing fountain, comforter and counselor. Take complete control. Welcome, Holy Spirit. Welcome into our soul. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Take full com control, Holy Spirit of God. Take dominion over this atmosphere. Take dominion over everything here. Take dominion over this fourth watch, fourth watch hour and over the fourth watch family in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Manifest yourself and do an awesome work in every life in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You alone are worthy, O oh gracious, wonderful God Almighty. You alone are worthy to be praised and worthy to be adored. Who is like unto you, O oh God? Who is like unto you? There is none like you. No one else can touch our hearts like you do. We could search throughout eternity, but we would not find any like you. You are awesome in this place, Almighty God. You are worthy of all praise. To you, our lives we raise. You are awesome in this place, Almighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord, Most High, Most High, Most High. Blessed be the name of the Lord, Most High. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Lord, we will choose to believe your truth and not the devil's lie. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Father, we ask that you will sanctify and cancel this atmosphere from every spy, from every illegal alien, from everything that wants to raise itself against the knowledge of you, from every disruption, interruption, this derailment, delay, and denial. 
of what is to be manifested and transferred and imparted into your people in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I pray, O oh God, that this season and this time and this moment and this hour will be blessed and sanctified, anointed and appointed for such a time and a season as this. I pray, O oh God Almighty, that every person who joins the devotion this morning will receive a touch from you, will receive fresh oil from you, will receive a washing and a cleansing by your blood from you. In the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I thank you, O oh gracious, wonderful Father, that none shall leave here the same way we came. I thank you, Lord, for an uncommon divine image impartation of your presence and i thank you lord that out of us will flow rivers of living water i thank you lord for the gift of discernment i thank you lord god almighty for the gift of the prophetic utterance that will come forth from us today in the name of the lord jesus christ i thank you for patience uh, for long suffering for temperance for joy for peace for love power and a sound mind i thank you lord god almighty that we have the mind of christ and no weapon formed against us can prosper every tongue that rises against us in judgment is condemned i thank you lord that we are the representatives of isaiah 61 verse 1 and 2 in the earth in this time and in this season that god almighty we will go forth and be undo we will set at liberty them that are bruised we will set the captives free we will impart to others and even to ourselves beauty for ashes we will not receive and respect any condemnation for there is therefore now no condemnation for who are in christ jesus who walk not after the flesh but after your spirit O god almighty and so father we thank you this morning that your goodness and mercy surrounds us that your power is our our purpose hallelujah and your power is our portion we thank you that we walk in the fullness of your goodness we thank you gracious wonderful god that no demon or devil no witch or warlock no principality or power has can, can have dominion over us they cannot take charge or control of our families our atmosphere our jobs our finances or our health in the name of the lord jesus christ i declare and decree that we are more than conquerors through you who love us i declare and decree that we can do all things through you christ jesus who gives us strength i declare and decree that we stand worthy hallelujah of great power worthy of great anointing worthy of great love because you have made us sons of the beloved in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth i thank you O god almighty that we war against not against flesh and blood but against principalities and spiritual darkness rulers of darkness spiritual wickedness in high places hallelujah we stand resolute that we shall not bow we shall not back up but we shall advance we shall advance we shall advance hallelujah and we take every chance by faith and stand believing that all that you have said is ours will manifest in this now time and this now season in the name of the lord jesus christ i pray your blessings and favor upon each member of this family oh god those that are already <coughs> up and joined and those that are still to come those that are still catching a few more minutes of sleep oh god i thank you that you will cover them guard and keep them protect them from every plan of the enemy that wants to make them sleep right through the fourth watch hour but god you will touch them touch their toes touch their head touch their nose touch wherever you need to touch oh god that they will arise and their enemies will scatter in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ i thank you lord god almighty and that you are touching even now every member of our household those oh god almighty who are not a part directly of the the fourth watch family but indirectly i pray oh god that you will touch them bring salvation to every household that is represented in this family in the name of jesus salvation to our, our children our parents to our, our aunts uncles cousins nieces and nephews father whomever it resides in the home or is connected to any fourth watch family member i thank you for salvation for them lord i thank you that they will not perish but be cherished in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth and so father this morning i prophesy to every household on this prophetic wednesday i prophesy to the households of the fourth watch family members i prophesy to your house i prophesy to your bloodline i prophesy to your dna and i say salvation 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 
salvation. Lord, may your Holy Spirit minister even now to every person, every corner and every crevice of every house and prophesy, prophesy salvation. Lord, draw them nigh unto you for no man cometh to the Father unless he is drawn by the Spirit. Holy Spirit of God, I ask you to draw from the north, south, east and west every representative of the bloodline of the fourth what family members draw them into the spirit draw them into your your presence draw them into your kingdom in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth i speak salvation i speak conviction and conversion uh, over all of our family members in the mighty name of jesus christ let your mercy and grace manifest upon us O god that we might truly be representatives of thee in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth glorify yourself O gracious wonderful and sovereign god and let only your will be done let only your will be done according to your purpose in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth amen and amen hallelujah 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 bless the lord bless the lord bless the lord Good morning, faithful sons and daughters of the Most High God. You are faithful to arise. You are faithful to, 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 to pay homage to the Lord. You are faithful to, to, to push past the difficulties and the, the discouragements that would want to stop you from being a part of what God is doing this morning. But we thank God that you are healed, delivered, set free, and made whole, that you are free to do what God desires for you to do. I speak a blessing over each and every one of you today, and I declare that it is well. It is well. It is well with you. It is well with your family. It is well. Hallelujah. It is well. It is well with every aspect of your life. Everything for life and godliness has already been provided for you and will be provided through you unto others in the name of the lord jesus christ so those of you on instagram those of you on, on facebook on tiktok and those of you on youtube to come i bless you and i declare god's favor over you in the name of the lord jesus christ i declare that it is well with your soul and the souls of your family members in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth glory be to the holy one of israel hallelujah hallelujah what a mighty god we serve Her angels bow before him heaven and earth adore him what a mighty god what a mighty god what a mighty god we serve hallelujah 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 bless the lord hallelujah glory be to the holy one of israel hallelujah hallelujah if the rocks cry out hallelujah in praises so will i mm, jesus one of the best songs of this decade if the rocks cry out with praises so will i mm, thank you jesus if the sun the moon and the stars can sing the glory of the lord then so will i if the trees if the winds if the seas if the rivers can praise the lord then so will i hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you lord father we ask that you will cause a prophetic flow to be our portion this morning prophesy to us and through us holy spirit of god prophesy of your goodness prophesy of your love prophesy of your mercy prophesy of your power prophesy by your power in the name of the lord jesus christ let a prophetic utterance come forth today, O oh God. On this prophetic Wednesday, we, we say unto you, open the windows of heaven and pour out an anointing to prophesy that we will not have room enough to receive. Open the floodgates of heaven, O oh God, and do what you did for Saul when he was numbered among the prophets. As he traveled in the atmosphere of the prophetic, he prophesied. Open your, uh, your, your arms to us this morning. Open your will and your purpose to us today, O Holy God of Israel, and cause us to speak a word of power. Cause us to speak a word of truth. Cause us to speak a word of restoration, uh, God, that it will manifest without hesitation in our lives, in our families, in our communities, and even in our nations. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory be to the name of the Holy One of Israel. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah to the King of Kings and Lord of Lords. 
great is the faithfulness of our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Okay, so good morning, good morning, good morning again. Bless the Lord. Hallelujah. As more persons begin to come in, I say great is the faithfulness of our God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I hope that you've been practiced to practicing to prophesy over your own situations and circumstances. Always remember that you are the prophet over your own life. Everything that you need to experience, you are the one that has to prophesy it. You are the one that has to call it forth. You are the one that has to speak it into being. You are the one that has to declare and decree and see it established in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. You are the one. You are that one. And so I want us to just take a few minutes. Hallelujah this morning on this prophetic wednesday to just prophesy over your life prophesy over your situation prophesy over your circumstance prophesy a shift prophesy a change prophesy a newness prophesy a freshness prophesy open doors prophesy opportunities prophesy hallelujah come on glory to god i want you to prophesy come on Suilan. hallelujah raquel hines come on begin to prophesy sandra graham Hallelujah. Begin to prophesy. Sister Vanette. Hallelujah. Gilly Thompson. Come on. Begin to prophesy. Cage wise. Hallelujah. Begin to prophesy. Those of you on um on, on on TikTok. Come on. Begin to prophesy. What do you want to see happen for your day to day? What do you want to see come to pass over your life and through your life? Begin to prophesy. Come on. Speak over it now. Speak over it now. Hallelujah. Father, I would like to see my breakthroughs come into fruition today. I would like to see breakthroughs for my family, breakthrough for my son and daughter, breakthrough for my wife. I thank you, Lord, for breakthrough. I declare and decree. I prophesy that breakthrough is my portion today. I walk in the fullness of uncommon release, release of funds that are tied up, release, oh God, of blessings that are untold in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy that today I walk in the fullness of the mind of Christ. I have a brilliant mind. I have solid memory memory of all the things that God wants me to remember and I, I am able to regurgitate with accuracy and precision all of the word of God I prophesy that my soul is submitted to the Lordship of Jesus Christ by the Holy Spirit I prophesy that my body is healthy my blood pressure is normal my blood sugar is normal in the name of Jesus Christ I prophesy that my heart is normal my kidneys my lungs my liver my spleen my spine my nervous system System. My DNA, my very blood, uh, joint and marrow are normal and healthy and strong in the name of Jesus. I prophesy that my esophagus, my prostate is healthy in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. I prophesy that my brain is healthy, my eyes are healthy. I see with clarity and precision. I hear with clarity and precision. My brain, my ear, nose and throat are healthy and strong and mighty like it was when I was a child. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, I prophesy that my family is blessed and that there's generational blessings in my family. In the name of Jesus Christ, come on, people of God, are you prophesying? What are you speaking over your family this morning? Come on, join with us. It is that day, that devotional day, when we all have been imparted to by the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we're speaking that which is not as though it were. We're calling forth that which we need to see manifest over our family, over our children i prophesy that my children are brilliant opportunities open for darian and for athena opportunities will be created for darian and athena i prophesy that my children have favor with god and man today uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I prophesy that this year will end strong for my children, that they will walk in the fullness of God's blessings and favor. They will flourish, they will prosper, and they will not die young, but they will live to declare the works of the Lord Jesus Christ. I prophesy that no untimely death shall come to my family members, nowhere at all on any side, whether the Beckford, the Burger, the Crooks, or the Wade side. I cut off and cancel by prophetic decree every uh, 
untimely death in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I prophesy, hallelujah, that the Lord will always be our shepherd and we shall not want that he will make us to lie down in green pastures. He will lead us beside the still waters and restore our souls. He will lead us in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. And even as we walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I prophesy that me and my household will fear no evil for my God is with us and his rod and staff comforts us. I prophesy that the Lord God Almighty will lay a table before us in the presence of our enemies and he will anoint our heads with oil. Hallelujah. Anoint our heads with oil that our cups will run over. Surely his goodness and mercy will follow us all the days of our lives and we will dwell in the house of the Lord. We will dwell in the presence of the Lord. We will dwell in the purpose of the Lord forever and ever and ever hallelujah in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth i prophesy that my marriage is strong built by god hallelujah on a strong foundation of love power and self-control i prophesy that my wife is a proverbs 31 woman of god healed of the lord blessed of the lord beloved of the lord purposed of the lord drive with a, with a drive to find more for to get more of god into her and through her in the name of jesus christ i prophesy that my wife is excellent at everything that she does she's an anointed prophetess of god she's an author she's a soit she is hey god and the entire world will know it in the name of the lord jesus christ i prophesy that my wife is healthy every sinew every tissue every joint and marrow in her body is healed healed and delivered, set free and made whole. I prophesy that every sinus disorder is reversed and fixed in the name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy that my wife is strong and fit. She shall run and not be weary and walk and not faint. Come on, can you prophesy with me? Prophesy over your family. Prophesy over the things that concerns you. Prophesy this morning in the name of Jesus Christ. Prophesy your husband into being. Prophesy your wife into being. Prophesy your financial breakthrough. Prophesy the health of your family members. Come on, people of God. You got to get serious about this thing and, and show God that you believe that there is a spirit in you that is the spirit of God. And that spirit of God is the spirit of prophecy. And you can prophesy from the Holy Spirit and it will come to pass in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So come on, come on, come on, come on. Tick guys on TikTok. I know you're not accustomed in a lot of ways to prophesying over your own self. Uh, Instagram, even some of you on Facebook, you're not accustomed to speaking over your own life. You're accustomed to finding the prophets that are on TikTok and Instagram mostly and, and, and joining their broadcast. I see them in the nights and even in the late nights by the hundreds, even by the thousands asking them prophet please pray for me prophet please pray for this skin disease pray for this organ um, disease prophet pray for this sickness that is upon my body prophet pray prophet pray but when you come to this one hallelujah you don't find a prophet that's gonna pray for you all the time you find a man of God that will impart the anointing upon you that you will begin to prophesy over your own life over your own situations over your own circumstances and so I say to you this morning you have the voice of God in you you have the word of God in you you have the power of God in you therefore hallelujah prophets and apostles and teachers and pastors and evangelists the fivefold ministers of the gospel of Jesus Christ are only supposed to confirm or agree with that which you have already prophesied and so come on people of God do not be afraid do not be ashamed prophesy in the mighty name of Jesus Christ prophesy that you are wealthy you are rich you have all that you need in the natural and in the spiritual prophesy that when overflow comes to your portion you will not forget God prophesy come on glory to God prophesy that wealth and riches is in your house and that like Abraham, God will make you rich. Like like Abraham and Sarah, God will give you a child when it seemed like you would not get one. In the name of Jesus Christ, like Boaz and Ruth, you will be you will be joined up with your 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 partner, your rib partner, your your help meet. Hallelujah, your king and priest. That you will be joined in holy matrimony to that person that God has uh, carved out for you. That there will be no delay, no denial of that which 
is purposed for you in the name of Jesus Christ. Every blockading spirit, every Jordan River in spate, every Red Sea blocking your crossing or your coming back, I declare that it shall not be so in the name of Jesus Christ. We are crossing the Jordan like Elijah and Elisha, and we're coming back like Elisha wherever we need to be. No weapon formed against our purpose, no weapon formed against what God has instructed us to do will prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. We will tear down every wall that stands against us. We will part every Red Sea that stands against us. We will step into every Jordan River that seeks to discourage us and we will overcome. I prophesy that overcoming is our portion. I prophesy that you will flourish in this season. You will walk in the fullness of God's goodness. You will be known in your nation as one who has the word of God in his mouth, in her mouth. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy that you shall be a blessing to the community, to the nation. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, I prophesy that you will be well known known across various nations, across various counties, provinces, in the name of Jesus Christ, because of the anointing of God that is on your life, in the same way that the witches and warlocks, the Sangomas and the Obia men are known. People fly from all over the world to come visit with them, to get their, their, their cook up and their mix up and their baths and their different oils and their different blood baths. But I declare and decree that the blood of Yeshua oversees and overthrows and destroys every yoke of wickedness, every every false God and every false doctrine and every false thing and declares that Jesus Christ of Nazareth stands alone in power, love and sound mind, in grace and in mercy. And so people will come to you even as they used to go to these, these prophets, and these false prophets and these uh, we evil workers, they will come to you and they will hear a word of encouragement. They will learn, they will grow, and they will appreciate the goodness of God, the love of God, the power of God, and the control that God wants to have over us, that we do not fail, but prevail in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ. So come on, people of God, prophesy just a little bit more. Push harder into the prophetic. Push harder a little bit more into the prophetic. Prophesy, I am healthy. I am strong. I am strong in my joints and marrow. No sickness or disease is in my body in the name of Jesus Christ. I have favor today, favor today, favor today in the name of Jesus Christ. That which God desires to come to pass for me as it was with Daniel as he spoke. As he speaks the word, it shall come to pass for me in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Come on, prophesy, prophesy. Hallelujah. It shall be so as you prophesy it, as you speak it. Come on, hallelujah. Some of you have documents that are held up, documents that are held up through the courts, through immigration, through different situations, through the purchasing of a house or a car, and it is delayed. I prophesy a free flow, a free flow of your documents. I prophesy a free flow of your investments. I prophesy a free flow coming to you of everything that belongs to you, everything that the Prince of Persia has been holding up. I prophesy that the Lord God Almighty has released the Archangel Michael this day to cut off the hands of the Prince of Persia. That your blessing, that your documents, that your favor, that your scholarship, that everything that belongs to you is being released now and it is coming to you by the sun come up this morning in a good way. Hallelujah. By the latest 10 a.m. you shall begin to receive good news. Good news of God's blessing. Good news of favor. Good news of open door. Good news of opportunities that you had been waiting for. It shall come to pass in the name of Jesus Christ. We call it forth this day. We call it forth today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I call forth great phone calls, uh, anointed phone calls that says, hey, you have done it. You have received it. It is there. It is in your bank account. Come collect it. Whatever it is, but I declare and decree great phone call, great news, great news phone calls, great news emails, great news WhatsApp messages, great news Instagram um, connections today in the name of Jesus Christ, where your business should have come off the ground and should have been working and it, and it has not. I declare today the cobwebs shall, shall be removed and you shall come into the fullness of the goodness of the Lord in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I prophesy today. 
today is your day of opening doors. Today is your day of open doors to you. Today is a day of favor in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Glory be to the Holy One of Israel, he who was and is and is to come. Hallelujah, 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 hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Mm. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. See, that wasn't so bad, guys. Hallelujah. You're still in the spirit. Some people I see are still prophesying. Hallelujah. Still speaking. Come on, Jamel. Speak over your business. Your business will not slow down again. No demon or devil that has been speaking over your, your, your herbal life business. Your herbal life business shall prosper. They shall not be able to delay the real or the night. I declare that it shall, it shall exceed expectations. Come on, Jamel. Begin to prophesy. Come on. Speak over your business. Speak over your businesses, guys speak over that which concerns you speak over your health come on hallelujah wherever you are and whatever situation you're faced with come on people like Camille speak over yourselves speak over your tissues do not just roll over and take what Satan says or what any doctor says prophesy in the name of Jesus I prophesy to every part of my body every cell every sinew every tissue every membrane come on hallelujah every cartilage every ligament I prophesy that I am healthy I am strong I am as healthy today as I ever was in the name of Jesus I prophesy to my organs come on people of God come on practice to prophesy prophesy I prophesy to my brain that it is brilliant I have a brilliant brain I have a brain that has excellent memory I have a brain that utilizes more than 10% of its capacity for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ I prophesy that my eyes shall see with 2020 vision and every film every every foggy film over my my, my right eye is now gone in the name of Jesus I tear off every foggy film that would want to block my vision from being 2020 I tear off any possibility of cataract or glaucoma coma off of my eyes in the name of Jesus Christ and I declare that I shall see with 2020 vision with clarity high definition I prophesy hallelujah that I I shall I shall breathe properly no sinus issue shall block me come on listen to my examples and begin to prophesy over your own situation what is your issue what is your issue come on Quenda prophesy come on Quenda Flores prophesy my children and my grandchildren shall live long and prosper they shall do excellent they shall do great exploits in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ my children and grandchildren shall come to know the Lord even though I'm in a country where knowing the Lord or being told about the Lord is, is, is becoming harder and harder declare and decree come on those of you who live in the United States in Germany in Canada hallelujah even in some parts of Africa in, 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 in these countries where it is becoming harder and harder to hear about the Lord Jesus harder and harder to walk in the fullness of his blessing I declare that as you prophesy as you prophesy you will be in the right place at the right time to receive the blessings of the Lord that make rich and add no sorrow in the name of Jesus Christ so prophesy my children shall not be like the world my children shall not be absorbed by the cultures of the world my children shall establish the culture of heaven the culture of the living Jesus Christ of Nazareth in their space and surroundings we shall not be influenced by those who come in to read or come in to declare or come in to motivate or coming to come in to preach the gospel of Lucifer my children and my grandchildren come on prophesy people of God even your future children if you don't have children yet prophesy that as long as the Lord tarries your children and your future children and your children's children shall walk in the fullness of overflow the glory of the Lord shall be their portion shall come down upon them hallelujah with great weight and they shall speak a word in time and in season they shall not be lukewarm hallelujah but shall be on fire for the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth I glorify you Lord Jesus in every way shape and form today I declare that every member of this family O God Almighty shall learn how to pray and will pray with power will prophesy with accuracy in the mighty name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth I declare and decree that we are strong in God we are mighty in God and through God for the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth thank you Lord Jesus 
that as we prophesy today it is established and it shall be so according to your will and according to your purpose in the mighty name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah glory 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 hallelujah praise god from whom all blessings flow praise him all creatures here below hallelujah thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you lord jesus christ of nazareth thank you thank you so much hallelujah 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 come on guys i want to just encourage you i know that it is not always easy to break out of our old slump to break out of how you were trained how you um how you were cultured but we have to practice we have to practice come on hallelujah i know sometimes it's difficult because you're saying you know but i'm not that i'm not a healer i'm not a deliverer i'm not a prophet and so how can i prophesy and you feel a little sheepish you feel a little um apprehensive a little withdrawn from the process but god is saying to you it is by faith it is not by experience it is not by calling it is not by 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 what man has said it is not by who has been ordained into an office it is by faith can i say that to you again your 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 what i ask you to do by the holy spirit is not by training it's not by graduating from school it's not by experience it's not by a habit that has formed it's not by culture it's not by what man has said or what man has done to say they have imparted to you it is by faith and faith only so when you prophesy even this morning to your situations and circumstances if you prophesy by faith it will come to pass if you prophesy by experience if you prophesy according to how you hear me prophesy or according to how you hear your pastor or or um or your apostle or your bishop prophesy then it will not come to pass it will fall to the ground and die but if you prophesy according to faith according to faith then the faith that which you speak a thing it will it will hit the heart and the ears of a faithful god and that faithful god will be faithful to answer that which you have spoken will will be faithful to make what you have said come to pass in the name of the lord jesus christ and so faith must please god and a please god will show his faithfulness amen hallelujah our faith will please god and a pleased god will will act in faithfulness towards us hallelujah astra jarrett astra jarrett wow my sister it's been a while since i've seen you as i see your name my spirit becomes stimulated Astra the Lord says that you've been through much you've been through much yes we know this this is not a prophetic um, revelation but you've been through much but God wants to encourage you this morning woman of God God says even as you have tried your best to hold on there were times and days and seasons when you felt like letting go you felt like giving up uh, like so many of us in in different circumstances and situations but God says even as there are times when you you, you felt guilty because you you, you were not walking in faith you felt like God failed you you felt like this this is just not happening it felt you felt like you were guilty like you were the one that did things and God turned his back on you but God says to tell you today daughter you have never been far from my face you've never been far from my hand no matter what you're going through says the Lord I have been there ah even when you were through the valley of the shadow of death and your family looks like it was torn apart like it was in disgrace like like it was never come to the place of, of that you desire the Lord says to tell you that he was right there in it and that there's there's great restoration that he's doing for you in your on your inside great restoration that he's doing for your children in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ God says to tell you Astra Jarrett that he is putting a solid foundation in place for you to prosper from for your children to prosper from the Lord says to tell you that no matter what you see in the natural hallelujah they are there was a time when Joseph could only look up to see a little bit of light because he was in a pit there was a time when Joseph could only do what was told to him what he was ordered to do in Potiphar's house as a slave there was a time when Joseph had to go to bed at a certain time wake up at a certain Certain time do all the things that a prisoner would do because he was in prison but even as he persevered through those difficult times when he had barely the sight of the Sun when he had barely the freedom to do anything when he barely had an opportunity to
to think like he's supposed to the god was still with him and there was an opportunity that god was opening that all of these situations and circumstances would prepare him for i'm saying to you that the lord is saying to you today astra jarrett and the lord is saying to each and every one of you that is hearing my voice the difficulties that you have been through was to prepare you for the palace to prepare you for leadership to prepare you for purpose to prepare you to accomplish that which god desires for you to accomplish so do not despise the difficulties do not despise the pit do not despise potiphar's house as a slave do not despise hallelujah the prison hallelujah and the things that you will have to do because god says to tell you this morning by prophetic order by rhema word god says to tell you that all that you have been through in your life has been preparation for the palace preparation for the palace it's palace time it's palace time it's palace time your last days of being in the prison are here now the negotiations are taking place as we speak the 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 the, the, the um the prophetic dream hallelujah that the king that your boss that your president and vice president that the persons who are, are are responsible for taking you from the place where you are to the place where god wants you to be the negotiation is taking place right now god has already touched their hearts is speaking to them through dreams that you will have to interpret is speaking to them through sickness and disease that you will have to heal is speaking to them through demonic oppression that you will have to cast out is speaking to them hallelujah through different things that you will have to minister and encourage come on glory to god god is saying to you in this season the time of your breakthrough the time of your time in the palace has come in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth and so if you can believe god if you can be if you can remain faithful do not murmur do not complain do not give up but give thanks in every situation because the difficult things that have happened to you happened so that you could be properly prepared for for the good thing the good things that will come in the name of the lord jesus christ i declare that before this year is out you will see hallelujah as a matter of fact i'm i'm hearing in my spirit november 15 by november 15 you will see a shift that will take place in your lives that will transform you mark that date down november 15 transformation 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 shall come to the lives of those who are hearing me now november 15 hallelujah on or before november 15 great things shall happen doors shall open opportunities shall be created the things shall fashion some people will meet their boas some will meet their esther some will meet their ruth some will meet that financial um inflow that will cause their debts to be paid off or to be cancelled in the name of jesus some will meet their healing and deliverance some will find their footing and get back on track some businesses will be restored renewed and become hallelujah a blessing to the family and to the community in the name of jesus christ on or before november 15 know that you shall see the hand of the lord in the land of the living in the name of the lord jesus christ every wicked thing that is blocking your book tours that is blocking your 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 concerts and conferences everything that is blocking you from coming into the fullness of purpose shall be defeated and destroyed in the name of jesus christ of nazareth and you will go forth in the flow of the glory of the Lord Jesus Christ in the mighty name of Jesus Christ I declare and decree hallelujah it is done get ready get ready get ready get ready hallelujah and those of you whose businesses have been struggling whose businesses have been doing well but could do much better come on hallelujah those of you who are who have been wanting to start a business for the longest while but just cannot it just seemed to as you take two steps forward the financing is not coming into play finding the location is not happening the location where you are is not the best location for the for the traffic that you need in order to get customers hallelujah whatever it is that is happening glory to god most high i declare and decree this morning that a shift shall take place god will either move you to a better location 
location or send people to your location god will stimulate you with great ideas creative ideas and witty inventions that will cause your business to move to the next level in the name of jesus christ some of you have business ideas that have been put into into um commission but you've been so nervous so afraid to do what needs to be done so that you cannot so you have not um fully developed or fully invested in that business and god says today if you will trust him if you will trust him and just push forward with that business just give it to him let him be the ceo of that business and you are the manager as you walk in the fullness of that confidence and that faith no says god that i will do great and mighty things for you and through you in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth hallelujah 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 thank you jesus thank you lord jesus what a mighty god we serve hallelujah some of you have been experiencing some pain have been experiencing some some hurt some disappointments but god says to tell you even today do not despair do not despise me because of what men have done to you so many persons have left church so many persons have gone astray so many persons uh, pastor marsh and i have met so many people in the years gone by in the past that were so hurt so disappointed so distressed by things that happened to them in church by people who sit in the pew people who are serving in leadership and people who are in charge of um of the ministries they have been hurt and disappointed and they have left god not the church they have left god and have gone off to do the satan's bidding but i say to you this morning understand that jesus christ of nazareth loves your soul so much that he would never cause you to go away from him he loves our souls and so he wants the best for us and satan is always looking to discourage us to cause us to walk away from the goodness of the lord in the land of the living but i say to you this morning if you've ever been hurt if you've ever been disappointed if you've ever had to say to yourself you know what i love jesus and i know he loves me and so i'm not i'm, I'm not gonna leave him but i'm not going back to church i don't trust church people anymore i don't trust pastors as leaders uh, in anymore the lord says to tell you that that is not the best way to go about your thing god says he has people in place that if you trust him he will connect you with god says he has authentic legitimate people who are not trying to feather their own nest or accomplish their own purposes and their own uh, possessions but god says if you will trust him to guide you in the right way that you should go i remember the other day i was talking to hallelujah a, a, a woman of god who is going through some difficulties some struggles and she said pastor you know one of the reasons why i don't want to get close to you and pastor Marsha because i have gotten disappointed i've been disappointed and i've been hurt so many times that i don't want to be hurt again and so i realized that you guys are different you guys are, are are nice people and you love god and honor god and fear god but i don't want to be disappointed again and so i am i am keeping my distance um i will continue to, to to be cordial and nice but i will keep my distance as as it relates to coming to church and being intimate with you guys as a family because i've been hurt too many times so many persons some of you have been hurt you you maybe have put it to the back burner but god is saying hallelujah do, do not just put it on the back shelf it needs to go completely every hurt every church hurt every disappointment every fear that has come upon your life fear not to, 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 to tell your pastor what it is that you're going through what it is that is affecting you fear of opening up to anyone in the church because it might become a point of gossip every, every kind of fear is not of God the Lord God Almighty himself says I have not given you a spirit of fear but power love and a sound mind yes you must be careful to whom you tell what you what 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 you need or whom you seek help from of course you must always ask the lord ask the lord ask the lord just a few days ago um pastor marshall received a message from uh 
from someone that says, can I talk to you and your husband? Can I, can I just uh, tap in to what God has placed in you so that I can be refreshed in this season? Because the burden of the world, the burden of situations and circumstances have come upon me and I feel like I can't carry it alone. And it was truly an honor. I was, I was tired and didn't even feel like it. I almost tell, told Pastor Marsha no, but the Lord prompted me and, and, and said, go right ahead. And it was such a blessing, such a blessing. It was a blessing for her and a blessing for us as the Lord allowed us to minister to her in ways that she did not expect and we did not expect either. And so we just have to trust God and just say, Lord, lead me to the church where I should go. Lord, lead me to the people that I should speak to. Sometimes it is going to be us and sometimes it won't be us. Even though we sincerely would like to bless you, we are not the only ones that God has in the vineyard. We are not the only ones that God has in the, in the, in the workplace. We're not the only ones that God has for you to draw on. And so sometimes God will say, yes, call Pastor Marsha and Pastor Rowan and see, and, and they have the answer that you need. But then he'll direct you to other places at the same time because, and other people at the same time because all that you need is not found in any one person come on glory to god hey there's the right hand and there's the left hand and i can guarantee you the right hand cannot do what the left hand can do amen there's the right leg and the left leg there's the right eye and the left eye come on glory to god the right ear and the left ear hallelujah if one is not functioning then it, it makes it difficult for, for, for you to function efficiently and effectively and so there is always another that is able to do what God has placed in them to do. Amen? And so it's just about trusting. It's about believing God. It's about reaching out to the right person to be a blessing. It is not everyone who says, Lord, Lord, will hear, enter, come. You are my child. I am pleased with you. It is not everyone who says that will hear that. And therefore, we must be wise in this season and know that it is not everyone who says, I am a man of God, I am a woman of God, I am an apostle, a prophet, a teacher, a pastor, an evangelist. It's not everyone who says that truly means that. It's not everyone who says that or declare that or have a business card that says it is truly authentically walking in the fullness of that office. And so it is God that will reveal to us who it is that has that answer to what ails us and he will guide us and direct us to that one who will counsel and direct us amen anyone can make a mistake people of god anyone no matter how how how, how anointed they are how knowledgeable they are if they know the bible from genesis 1 to revelation 22 every jot every dot and every tittle they can still make mistakes because they are human amen Pastor Marsha and I have some people that we listen to on a regular basis. Some not so much anymore like before. But when we listen now through the eyes, not as fans, not as, as people in awe of, of, of man's revelation, um, encounters with God, or man's ability to exegese the word, when we listen through mature ears, we can hear when, 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 when the person is on point and powerfully exegesing the scripture powerfully bringing revelation and prophetic utterances and we go yes god hallelujah my spirit bear witness with that and then sometimes the same person or persons will begin to speak some things and immediately your spirit gets up like a dog on the fence and going bah, 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 bah. that's not good that's not good back away back away back away hallelujah but it doesn't mean necessarily that the person is fake it just means that the person made a mistake the person may have gotten overzealous and is 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 um is expounding on something that didn't need any expounding amen um going in a direction that uh, they think is revelation but it is just information that has not gone through the the, the, the spirit we must get to the point where we are mature enough to as my pastor miller would say take the meat and spit out the bone because everyone has bones everyone has bones i am sure during the last three years almost four years of us being together in this devotional family you've heard things that make you go pastor weird what is that 
what's that pastor weird I, I know because my wife responds more um outwardly to, to to some of these things that i say and do but i don't mean any harm i am not you wouldn't label me as a false teacher or a, 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 a evil person or one who is is thing i've given examples and situations that pastor had to pulled me aside when the devotion is finished and said pastor maybe you shouldn't have said that that way and stuff and i humbled myself and said all right praise god sometimes i feel so bad i don't even speak i just listen and like a child walk away to my room we all make mistakes guys none of us is perfect but there must be an underlying sincerity there must be an underlying humility there must be an underlying desire to walk holy and upright to be who god has called you to be to always give jesus christ a Nazareth the glory to always submit and surrender to the Holy Ghost there must be an underlying foundation on which we stand that when sometimes we fall short when sometimes we go off in a wrong direction we can humbly say God I don't feel like the steel and the concrete was lined up with this wall that I was making I seem to have gone in a different direction God I'm sorry tear down this wall that I have just built with these words that I've spoken and build a new wall that will secure and protect your people and myself in the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. And so it's important, guys, I'm saying to you, as you mature as a believer, you must be at a place where you recognize that like you, like you and I, Regardless of who the person is, they can make a mistake. Amen? They can make a mistake. Simple mistake as well. Pastor Marsh and I were talking a few days ago. We spoke about a dear friend of ours who was ministering at a conference and said something that was just completely off. It, it, it was so off, it's not funny. But then five minutes down into the same presentation, in the same line of argument, the person, without even knowing, said what was right in the full context of, of the conversation. And I'm saying to myself, wow, look at that. But sometimes what happens is, let me tell, tell you this as a fact, sometimes what happens is people who hear a wrong thing, a wrong doctrine, a wrong revelation, a wrong manifestation, when we hear it, we often become so incensed by what is an error that we don't even hear if the correction was made later down in the sentence. It's like when you're talking to your, your, your husband or your wife or even your children, if they start a conversation or start relaying a communication with a negative, the, 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 the automatic brain waves latch on to that negative and begin to, to, to shut it down, begin to bring correction to it, begin to, 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 um, to not accept what is happening. And so the rest of the argument, the rest of the communication is void. It is not heard. It is not understood because we are stuck at that, 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 that beginning, that negative. And so that's why I try to encourage myself and I try to encourage my wife and even my son Darian more so, um, not so much Athena um, uh, as yet, but the ones that I interact with on a daily basis, I try to encourage guys, please do not lead off your conversation with a negative because if you say something negative in the initial stage, most people, not all, most people will get stuck at the negative and when you're telling them what is to happen going forward or what else or the rest of the, the information they don't get it because they're still anchored right where the negative was so you know it is it's 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 um like for example just as one quick example um if someone owes you owes you some money or you owe someone some money and you're going to return the money. It should have been returned today, Wednesday, but you can't return it until Friday. Still in the same week. Yes, you're, you're a couple of days out. You're two days, not even two days, one day out because it should have been today, Wednesday by 12 midnight and you, you won't be able to make that deadline. And so Friday morning, you'll be able to deliver it. So for all intents and purposes, only Thursday would be the grace period. 
but you go to the person who you owe the money and you said or you call them or you send them a whatsapp message and you say to them i can't pay you your money today i can't pay you your money today and that's all they hear they made plans for that money to be paid today they made plans to pay some other people with that money today but you said you can't pay that money today and that's all they hear and they become incensed aggressive cross angry miserable because you led with a negative i can't of course you can't you are not able to but if you lead with that it then becomes a problem so when you have a situation where you're trying to get across information that is not going to sit well with the person that is uh, is hearing it 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 behooves you it uh it it is it is necessary for you to be very strategic in how you introduce that information to the person hey guess what you know that sometimes you know um things don't go the way that you would like it to go but god is good and i'm really grateful to you for having taken the chance on me to loan me this money i am so happy that you are my friend i bless god for you i thank god for you i thank god for the the, the, the character and nature that you have that no matter what happens in this life you are always so calm so good so nice so loving so tender so forgiving wow by the time you finish polishing up um, the character and nature of this person and how how good they feel that's all they remember and then in the midst of that um down the line from those 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 accolades and those um nice gestures towards the person you say to them and you know i i fully intended to pay you today it was my i was working so hard but the things that i had to to um to, to, to come into place is not coming into place until friday morning friday morning at 8 a.m i will be able to hand you the check or to do the wire transfer and be, after all of that the person will just say you know i have to go reshuffle some things but it's okay man i love you bro i love you sis it's good because of how the information was communicated it's the same person who would have been upset curse you out and, and swear never to lend you money again because of how you started in one respect but then the same person who has the same personality who would respond the same way for in the first instance to someone else responds differently to you their circumstance has not changed they still have to go rearrange their payment plans to other people and put off some of their things for um, Friday morning when they get the money or the check. But because of how you dealt with it, because of how you, you, you um, imparted to them, they are willing to make that sacrifice for you because you are careful to not just drop something. Amen? You're careful not to hide from the person and um, they're calling you you're not you're not answering and you're careful not to speak in a way that upsets them or keeps them in a negative mindset when they initially hear you speaking amen so most people if you include a negative at the beginning or before the positive comes when the positive comes they will not likely more often than not not received the positive because the negative has already dominated their thought process amen so i want to just help to teach my people who god has given me an opportunity to speak into their lives watch what you say and how you say it and i give you a biblical reference there was a prophet called nathan who was given an assignment to go and tell the king david the badman king the knife wielding sword slinging goliath killing king hallelujah the one who killed his, his tens to, in tens of thousands the one who everyone feared both his enemies and his people feared him because he was a cross angry miserable bad guy amen with him sword yeah that's jamaican <laughs> all right let me leave the david alone because he was a man after god's own heart but you know what i'm saying so he didn't engender the kind of you can just come and say anything to me and then he had some men around him his 30 men of valor if you said anything to david even if david was not incensed one of the men of valor may take it personal and sort you out 
Amen. And so when the prophet came, the prophet had a very tough message to give to David. A very tough message. But he, in the wisdom of God, made sure that how he got the message across was according to what was palatable, according to what would accomplish what God wanted to accomplish. God didn't just want to expose David and to say, you're wicked and you should not have done this thing and how dare you. He wanted to say, man of God, you messed up, but I will still redeem you. I will still redeem you even though you messed up. I'm saying to you this morning, is there anyone who, who is hearing me who has messed up, who has done or said or have not done or have not said things that God desires of you and you feel like you've messed up and because you don't know what to say to God, you've just been basically hiding, you've not been praying as much, you've not been reading the word of mo as much, you've not been as confident in who you are as a son of God. God says to tell you today that your Nathan has come to say to you, though you may have not walked in the way that you should, walk well, walk still, walk still, because the anointing of God is still upon you. The glory of the Lord is still your portion. So walk well. Don't focus on the negative. Don't focus on the failure. Don't focus on what has not happened for you or what you have done wrong. Walk well. Walk well. Because God is with you. And so when Nathan said, give David the story, David was so enthralled. He was so into the story. Hands at his cheek, listening to Nathan and going, wow, really? Oh my goodness. And when he heard the full story and he says, what a man evil, what a man evil, how could that man do this thing? Then he dropped the bombshell on him. That man is you. That man who took one, a man's one sheep when he had a whole um, farm full. That man is you. You took Bathsheba when you didn't have to. God not only would have given you more if you wanted, but there were others all about that you could have gone and sought yourself. But you took this one that the man had. And David, because the message didn't start out negative, it didn't upset him, it didn't stir him up, it didn't cause him to feel condemned, could see the error of his ways and says, Oh God, forgive me, for against you and you only have I sinned and come short. Have mercy upon me, O oh God because of how his sins were presented to him. Some of us, we are so adamant and so stern that we are saying, that's how God tell me, that's what God show me. God show me that you're in adultery, in fornication, in lying, in stealing, in not being as good a Christian as you're supposed to. And so I'm coming to tell you, God says to tell you that you are behaving wrong. God says to tell you that you are out of line. That could destroy the person. Of course, they're the one making the mistake. Of course, they're the one doing what they shouldn't do. Of course, they may even know that they're doing it. But always remember the examples that Jesus set in the scripture. The examples that are in Old and New Testament are always examples of reconciliation. Always. Even the one Saul who lost his throne got many examples, many opportunities, many opportunities to preserve his statue as king and his lineage, but he never took it. And as a result, he lost it all. We will not lose what God has in store for us because of arrogance or because of ignorance. Amen? We will allow God to take a chance on us and to function and flourish according to his will in Jesus name hallelujah minister Stephen says the aim the aim is for them to report to repent yes not for them to be condemned that's it always so everything that we do guys everything that we do must always take on the character and nature of Jesus whether we are the ones that have to be um, to be oh pastor Shaw oh praise God hallelujah good to see you pastor 
God bless you, God bless you, God bless you. Hallelujah. So, so, so God is saying in, to us this morning, regardless of which foot the shoe is on, whatever we have to do, we must do it according to the character and nature of Jesus, how he went about doing what he did. Amen? Hallelujah. Glory to God most high. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Okay. Hallelujah. All right. So, so can we get into some word? Hallelujah. I again spoke for too long. As I promised yesterday, we were going to get into the scriptures quicker. Um, and I, I, I didn't honor my word. Lord, forgive me. <laughs> Praise God. Okay. So we're in 1 Timothy chapter 6. 1 Timothy chapter 6. Hallelujah. Glory to God, most high. 1 Timothy chapter 6. Yesterday we did verse 11, um, transitioning from verse 10, where we identified that God was saying, For the love of money is the root of all evil. The love of money, the love of money, the love of things, the love of, 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 um, of going. There are persons who, 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 who you would say, All right, can I give you a, a, an example? Someone says, I don't love money but because of the circumstances that i'm in i will lie or steal or fabricate an, a, a story in order to be in a position to help my, my 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 family or to help myself get some food can i tell you unfortunately the truth about that situation that is still the love of money you may we may we might see it and we might even be able to excuse it and to say uh, the person did this because they're hungry the person did this because their family is hungry but when a young man from an inner city community an at risk community uh, hears his baby crying his baby mama, mama is saying Hey, you got to go get some money. You have to go look it, no matter what. And he picks up his gun and he goes and he robs an innocent person, takes what is theirs, and he goes back and feeds his family. We say he's wicked. He should go to prison. Some even say that he should be killed by the police. But it's the same situation. It's not, it's not any different from when we as Christians find that we are in a struggle, we're in a situation that is untenable, it's difficult, we don't see our way out. But rather than pray and say, Lord, I will perish if I must perish, my family will perish if we must perish if you do not find the righteous way out for us. We will not do evil to obtain good. You cannot displease God to please God. We will not do evil to obtain good because to, to, to trick ourselves into thinking that doing evil can produce good is a lie from hell. It's a contamination and a lie from hell. And so if, if, if you have to, 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 um, to, to, to create something or to, to fabricate a story or to, to, um, to, to write wrong things, wrong information, wrong content in order to accomplish a particular thing, then all that you are going after is still the love of money. You are willing to do anything to get that money. Yes, I hear you and I know it is because of the desperation for the food. It's the desperation for the food. There are things that you need and things that you need to do. It's desperation for the food. But it's still love of money. Because if it was not love of money, you would be more inclined to say, Father, I am your child. I depend on you. My children are hungry. My wife needs to get some, 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 some stuff for her natural living. Not fancy stuff. Where are you, Lord? And I guarantee you that, that, God, that God who loves us would provide for us. He would take care of us. But sometimes, sometimes God will allow us to be in a situation or a circumstance that will show us some things that are deep within us. How desperate do we have to be for the immoral 
the iniquity in our hearts to come up. If everything is going okay, we will walk around pretending that all is well. People will see us functioning in the good times and say, yes, this is a good Christian. But they don't know that if our lives were threatened like Shadrach, Meshach and Abednego, we would say, hey, 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 I will worship the giant statue, the wood and iron statue to preserve my life. I would do whatever the king says. I would eat whatever the king has provided to preserve my life. When danger has come to us or to our family, will we do what is immoral, what is illegal, what is wicked, what is not of God in order to preserve self? That also represents the love of money because money can be a representation of the preserving of our lives or it can represent fixing a problem that is in our lives if we're trying to do it ourselves. So it's not just the love of cash money, but it is the love of things that money can buy over what God is able to do, over God's word. That is the love of money as well. And it will produce or be a representation of the root of all evil. So you see, the, you see the connection, guys? If you have to write a letter, if you have to write a false letter of recommendation for someone, saying you know them for X number of years, saying that they are of good character, good sound character, and you know that they're not. You know that they're not, but they're desperate for this job. Desperate for this job. And they need a good recommendation to get this job. And you, knowing that this is the opposite of who they really are and you write this recommendation that also represents the love of money because it's a, it has produced that which the person is going to get the money though it is not coming directly to you it is still the root of evil it still has produced a root of evil from you and for them to have asked you to do that it's also a root of evil but it all stems from what they are trying to accomplish that's right and other persons will get in trouble so sometimes the root of evil doesn't just get you in trouble it get other people in trouble as well and so we must be mindful and careful that when we see something that says like the love of money is the root of all evil we think that it is just money it is just cash it has many different tentacles that represents cash and many different tentacles that represents the root of evil so we must always be careful, always be careful. One of the things that, that, that is, is very prominent, and I know I might touch on a few corns here, is, is going to a place, going to a country to work that you are not legal to work in. It's buying things in way, true ways that you can't afford. Because if you could, you would go about it the right way. We have to continue to pray. I know living this life of righteousness, holiness, and truth is not easy. It's difficult, guys. But it's a way to show that we trust God. That's right, Sister Sean, deceit. We cannot be deceitful, especially knowingly. Because deceit knowingly is a, 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 a perversion of what we stand for or what we're supposed to stand for amen so i just wanted to make that clear so that there can be a, a greater level of expansion of knowledge and understanding of what um god is saying when he says that the love of money is the root of all evil it's not just cash it's anything that we can do that will provide a benefit anything that we do uh, uh aggressively and desperately um, to accomplish a benefit, that benefit is also considered money. And if we're doing something wrong with, uh, with an intent that this is to, to, to come to us, then that represents the root of all evil. And so um, we looked at verse 11 where it says, But you, but you, man of God, but you, fourth watch family member, but you, mighty warrior of God, flee from all this. 
stay away from these things as a justice of the peace i often am asked to do stuff and and and, and i hear even in the testimonies of other justices where persons will come and say can you write a recommendation can you stamp this for me can you do this and do that and the costas always is saying to the justices be careful even of relatives or people who you are afraid of or people who you think you owe a pledge of allegiance to be careful what you sign for them because they might be pursuing something that you have sanctioned that you have sanctioned by signing it and so we're always being warned as justices of the peace be careful what you sign because it will come back to you there are justices that have been um the simplest thing that have happened to them is that they're they have been um derobed their their justice um an appointment has been taken away some have ended up in jail because unknowingly in a lot of instances they have signed off on stuff because persons have come desperate oh i'm so desperate i need to do this i need to travel signing blank blank documents someone says can you sign a passport form for me and you look on the passport form and no name nothing is on it nothing at all you don't even know the person that well and in the in the, in, in in expediency in the in the in in the interest to help you stamp and sign a, a blank passport form and next thing you know the person was trying to get a passport in another name and you get in trouble when they are caught at um passport and immigration services because they said how could you have signed for this person when the name doesn't match with their id or whatever and now you're going to have to either admit that you didn't know or that you signed a blank document which is going to produce the same result because you're not supposed to do that and so um the love of money can be even this even represented as the fear of man as the fear of man we do things that are immoral or against god's rules because of fear of man or because of admiration of man amen hallelujah hallelujah and so we must flee from those kinds of attitudes and behaviors and pursue righteousness godliness faith and love endurance and gentleness endurance and gentleness we must seek the things that are of god we must learn how to gently say to someone, you know, um, I see this form, but unfortunately, I know you're in a rush. I know you have to take it into the passport office today, but you have to go sit down and fill it out properly and bring the representative documents that I would need to confirm that this is you so that I can sign it. If you're in too much of a hurry, then I'm sorry, you're going to have to find another JP to sign it. That is pursuing righteousness, godliness faith love endurance and gentleness it is always better to please god than man amen always better to please god than man anything gained as a result of illicit or contaminated agenda will not last it will not last amen hallelujah can we get a little piece of verse 12 um before we close it says fight the good fight of faith fight the good fight of faith that basically that, that that line basically encapsulates all that we've been talking about this morning part of fighting the good fight of faith is each day prophesying what you want to see god produce for you what you know is yours come on you are fearfully and wonderfully made that means no low self-esteem no self-hate no word curses come on no rejection no depression should come near you and so when you say in the morning i jacqueline brown i'm fearfully and wonderfully made i done it hewitt rudd up i'm fearfully and wonderfully made therefore therefore because i'm fearfully and wonderfully made no rejection no depression no oppression no suppression shall be my portion in this session in the mighty name of jesus christ i declare that today i am more than a conqueror i am an overcomer i overflow with the blessings of the lord the goodness of the lord is upon me i walk in the fullness of blessings that make rich and add no sorrow in the mighty name of jesus christ you begin to prophesy from the place of what you believe amen 
And that is fighting the good fight of faith because the enemy is always trying to discourage us. Come on. Hallelujah. Nekela. Yes, Nekia. Hallelujah. Yes, Nekia. I see you, girl. The enemy is always trying to discourage us, always trying to, to, to hold us back. But we have to begin to prophesy. You are beautiful. You are fearfully and wonderfully made. You are blessed to be a blessing. Your life is not a disaster. Your life is a training ground. Your life is like the gym. It is preparing you. And there are times when for a season, you feel like you can't make it. The muscles are sore and hurting. You feel your heart like muscles that has just gone to the gym for the first time your heart is breaking the pain is in there and you feel like oh god i cannot go on but god is saying if you keep pressing each day work through the pain when the, when the muscles are really hurting the next day don't use as much weight use wisdom just light weights and just go ahead and just continue to get what needs to be to be gotten done amen and so we have to learn how to persevere so that we can be there when God is sharing all that we're supposed to receive. Amen? And so, the glory of the Lord comes when we fight the good fight of faith. Hear me carefully. The glory of the Lord comes upon us when we fight the good fight of faith. And one of the ways that we fight the good fight of faith is that we prophesy to ourselves. Nikia, prophesy to yourself every day. Jamel, Prophesy to yourself. I am a great businesswoman. Jacqueline, prophesy. I am the best thing that works at my workplace. Everybody, not because of me, but because of the God in me. Hallelujah. I'm more than a conqueror. Every place that I go and everything that I do, I take dominion. I take control. I am in charge because God has made me fearfully and wonderfully. You have to know these things and declare these things every day until you begin to walk in these things with victory in purpose in the name of Jesus Christ. And so remember this today as our backdrop, as our, our mantra, as our motto. Fight the good fight of faith. Amen? Everything that we see today, everything we hear today, everything that we experience today, we're going to fight the good fight of faith. We're going to speak faith from a positive position into our situations and circumstances all of today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. 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 Okay, so we'll pick up again tomorrow from verse 12 we haven't finished verse 12 yet it's a, a nice long verse hallelujah so we'll pick up from verse 12 again tomorrow in the name of jesus christ let us pray father we thank you for this morning we thank you for the opportunity to just come into your presence to hear from you to speak from your spirit and to receive from your spirit lord we ask that you will anoint and consecrate these emblems even now that they may be to our bodies health and strength prosperity and good success for your will and for your purpose sake in the mighty and matchless name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth amen and amen and so as the Lord Jesus Christ took the bread, he blessed it and broke it. He gave it to the disciples and he said, eat, this is my body broken for you. As often as you eat of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Eat ye all of it in faith, in Jesus' name. Oh, <laughs> um... The, that scripture is First Timothy, First Timothy six, Jackie, First Timothy six, and we're at verse. We're doing verse eleven and twelve. What I just read just now is from is the first one, two, three, four, five, six, seven words in verse twelve. Verse twelve: Fight the good fight of faith. First Timothy chapter six, and verse twelve. You're welcome. Hallelujah. And likewise, he took the cup. He blessed it and took a sup. And he said, drink. This is my blood, the blood of the new covenant. As often as you drink of it, you do it in remembrance of me. Drink ye all of it in faith. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. I want to just say thank you so much, guys, for joining us this morning. Thank you for your faithfulness. Hallelujah. Thank you for your persistence and your consistence. God will honor you 
for your faithfulness god loves faithfulness because he's a faithful god and those who are his representatives must first represent him in faithfulness and so god honors faithfulness he loves faithfulness because faithfulness represents him amen and so i tell you that you are blessed because of the faithfulness that you have shown towards god and towards his people in the name of jesus christ hallelujah raise your hands for the blessing and now may the lord bless you and keep you may the lord make his face to shine upon you and be gracious unto you may the lord lift up the light of his countenance upon you and give you his peace in the name of the lord jesus christ of nazareth go forth family Wherever you are in the world, Colombia, Venezuela, Australia, hallelujah, wherever you are in the world, go forth and have an amazing day, God's way. For our God has already shaken everything that is evil out of your day, his way, in Jesus' name. Remember, Jesus love you, and we love the whole owner too. God bless you on behalf of Pastor Marsha Wade. I'm Rowan Wade saying, have a fantastic day, man. Angels have already gone before you to make crooked places straight and rough roads smooth. And all you have to do to demonstrate faithfulness in God is to do something good for someone today. Go out of your way, hallelujah, today to do something good for someone. Bless them, cover them, guard them, keep them, pray for them. Do whatever it takes, but do something good today by design, deliberately. And you will see God's hand of blessing and gratefulness upon you and upon your family. In Jesus' name. God bless you guys. Have a great one. It is well. Bye. You are great.